Okay, um, I'm here with uh, Barak Weiss, um, and now Barak, uh, what do you do? Hi, good morning. Um, I'm traveling the world basically, and between that I'm promoting, I'm programming two festivals in Israel. And you grew up where? I grew up in uh, Jerusalem, Israel. Who's been to Jerusalem here, anybody? Some hands, yes, uh -huh. they're, they're, you know, yeah. Anyone heard of Jerusalem? <laughs> At least, yes. okay, good, better. <laughs> it's this guy called Jesus kind of hung out there, didn't he? Um, and uh, what did you, when you were the same age as these kids, who are being beautifully quiet now, which is great, <laughs> um, what did you want to do? Did you have, or what, sorry, no, what was your favorite memory from school when you were, when you were sort of a young teenager? Uh, their age? Oh, your age? Uh, uh, actually, the school, I mean, this is a, a bad theme that goes on this morning, but these three years of junior high were, were the dark ages for me. I really disliked school. The dark it, ages? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really didn't like we're school. We're not getting a good theme with enjoying school, but, are we? <laughs> So everything good happened to me with my friends out, outside of schools. Did you know what you wanted to do when you grew up? Of course, but it's not what I'm doing now. Uh, I, was, I'm, I, I wanted to be an engineer, and then I wanted to be a lawyer, which I became a lawyer. But uh, I'm not practicing law anymore, so... But now you're, you're billed as one of the top uh, music directors and promoters in, in Israel. So I think um, you could probably go out there and tell everybody how your story and how, how that came to be. Okay, Can we thank give you. Uh, a big round of applause to Barak Weiss? Hi. Okay, now I can see you much better. Uh, so most of you heard of uh, Jerusalem, right? Jerusalem is very important to... Islam to, to Christianity and to the Jews. To, but uh, I grew up in, in, in a city called Jerusalem. And what I know about Jerusalem is probably a little bit different than what you've heard about Jerusalem in your uh, historical and biblical studies uh, or in the news. But um, let me... To get a sense of what Jerusalem is for me, I want to take you back to one of my uh, early memories. I was three years old, I guess. And every Saturday, every Shabbat, that's Saturday in Hebrew, uh, I went to visit my grandparents, who were also living in, in uh, Jerusalem. And my grandparents uh, were uh, very religious, Jewish religious. Actually, my grandfather was a rabbi back home in Hungary before he uh, immigrated to Israel. And I was not. <laughs> I was not a religious person. I, I'm not even today. Uh, but it was a great experience. And when Shabbat ended, when Saturday ended, we all always did uh, this Jewish ritual, Jewish ceremony called Havdalah. I must tell you uh, to begin with that, uh, I don't know if you know that, but uh, according to Jewish tradition, the day starts not when the sun rises, but rather when the sun sets. So the day starts when you see, uh, at the evening, you see st three stars in the sky. So Sunday starts at the evening, at Saturday night. So you did the Havdalah, you did the ritual to, to separate between the holiness of Saturday and the ordinary days, the ordinary working days of Sunday till Friday. And uh, in this ritual, to separate the, the sacred from, from the secular, uh, you light a candle and you bless on the candle and you smell some incense and you uh, drink some wine, you bless on that. 
and then, and then uh, my grandfather took me by, by the hand and we walked around the, his house, his apartment, and we sang the, the, the Jewish songs that we used to sing after the Havdalah, after that ritual. And it was ancient, it still is, ancient Jewish songs from the Bible, from Psalms, and from other uh, sacred books. But while we sang it, we always heard at the same time, we always heard singing coming out of the windows of my grandfather's windows. Uh, neighborhood neighbors. Why is that? Because every every Jew in the neighborhood did the vodala at the same time, right? And the lyrics were the same, same Jewish ancient Jewish uh, uh, script, but the music was different because my grandfather comes from Central Europe. So he has uni unique melodies. We had unique melodies. But uh, my grandfather's neighbors, they came from all over the world. From Morocco, from Yemen, from, from, uh, um, the, from, from Jerusalem, like generations in Jerusalem, from Iraq, all over the world. And in, from every country, you have different melodies to the same lyrics. And this is how we grew up with. We heard all the different melodies to the same music. And from time to time, like 50% of the time, to this choir, added, was added the voice of the muezzin the, from, from the mosques in the neighborhood nearby, from the uh, Muslim neighborhoods nearby. So this is actually, this is uh, Jerusalem, because I, I never knew, when I was growing up, I never knew we had borders in Jerusalem. When I grew up, I understood that, uh, I, I, I was told that we have political borders, we have uh, cultural borders, etc. But growing up as a kid, as, a, as an adolescent, it was all mixed up. And when you try to listen, when you listen to the music that comes out of Israel these days, or when you come this afternoon, this evening to, to seek water to Africa, the, the Israeli band that's gonna play uh, tonight and tomorrow night, you're gonna listen, you're gonna, you're gonna hear all the influences of the music, you're gonna hear the Palestinian if influence, because Palestinians are part of Jerusalem, you're going to hear uh, the Yemenite and the uh, Western African and then the Iraqi and the Moroccan influences. And it's all part of, of this culture, of the culture of, uh, of uh, Jerusalem. We have, uh, in Jerusalem, we have uh, like secret, not secret, but only those who live in Jerusalem know it. We have uh, music jam sessions People are coming from from uh, from Palestine, from Palestinian Authority, and from Israel to play together, and that's natural for us because no one told the musician that they had borders. And this is basically my my um, uh, what I wanted to tell you is that please don't be afraid. Don't be af afraid a to. Uh, dig deep into your culture, into your uh, grandparents' and great-grandparents' culture and heritage and roots, even though people around you might say this is not cool, because the cool is just, you know, what you hear on the radio, on the pop, on pop, etc. So don't be afraid to dig deep into your culture, but on the other hand, don't be afraid to tear down the borders. And music, is is a is a weapon, is an is a vessel. You can use it to turn out these borders, these uh, artificial borders that the grown up tell you that they exist. So, and whatever you do, please, guys, don't be afraid. Thank you very much.